Asante sana maua sama superstar nyota mpya kabisa inayongara kwa kuweza kuja kuzungumza nasi katika uh, kampeni yetu hii ya kitu kidogo uh, kwa madogo uh, ni yetu na lengo letu hasa ni kusaidia watoto yatima na watoto wanaoishi kwenye mazingira magumu chochote kidogo kitakachopatikana tutawapelekea na zaidi wazo hili lilikuja uh, kutoka kwa Keneri kusia, kwa sababu ya janga la corona Okay. Na tunafahamu watu wengi wameathirika na corona na wale watoto watakuwa wameathirika zaidi. E, kwa hiyo tunashukuru sana kwa mchango wako kuja kuzungumza nasi hapa hii leo na nafahamu e, umetunga umeshiriki katika nyimbo mbili kuhusiana na corona e, kama sikosei. E, <laughs> yes. e, kwa hiyo labda kwa kuanza utuambie corona wewe binafsi ili ilikugusa vipi? Um, first of all kama msani Corona mm. ni affect sana uh, kwa sababu ya uh, kazi zimekuwa zimepungua lockdowns collaborations ilikuwa nimeplan kufanya kutoa album na album yangu ilikuwa kuna collaborations ambazo nimefanya so nasubiria wafungue then kuna zile michakato ya videos na vitu vingine kama viendelee mm. and then kitu kingine ni my brother mwana FA mm infected of course ili niumiza sana ili ni yani ilifanya nizidi kuona kwamba okay i know it's real but it, it, it actually actually happened to someone very close to me mm-hmm. so ilikuwa ngumu sana kwangu na pia yeah what it, it was any it still is lakini pia ilikuwa inashtua sasa watu tulikuwa tumetaharuki especially me kwa sababu imenitokea kwa mtu wangu wa karibu so yeah um wakati wa corona ulivyopata time kukaa sana home nini naomba utuelezee labda kwa kifupi ratiba yako ulichokuwa unafanya wakati wa um, huo muda ambao ulikuwa umetenga na watu okay i was at home uh, netflixing of course reading youtube <laughs> uh, writing na vitu kama hivyo and i was having a moment with my family Mm. Yeah, some of them. Unajua yes, sisi wasanii ngumu sana kuwepo nyumbani on normal days, especially on weekends. Tunakuwa tuko very busy recording na vitu kama hivyo. Yeah. Ulipata mm. time labda ku record nyimbo nini? Ah, uh, yeah, alikuwa na home studio sessions. Uh, but it's not it's not and it's me who spend the sana home studio sessions kwa sababu sio sio na nili sana. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes. uh, so so nyuma kidogo tuweze kuziona nywele zako mwanangu umependeza sana. Uh, so uh, sasa uh, maua unasema ulikuwa una, unashughulikia album. Uh, ulikuwa tayari umeshakamilisha kabisa inakaribia kutoka ulikuwa na jina na kila kitu na na, na, na nyimbo ngapi? Uh, uh, I, I still don't have the name. <laughs> But uh, the songs were about to be completed. My my part of the song ziko very I'm okay with it. Lakini sasa zile collaborations ambazo zilikuwa tutatakuwa to record uh, to shoot na pia kutokana na lockdown ika kulikuwa kuna performances. Unaweza kuona na nani walikuwa una collab nao au, au ni siri bado? Uh, bado. <laughs> Nitakupa exclusivity next time. <laughs> <laughs> Um, apart from unajua wasanii wanategemea sana music shows na vitu kama hivyo so apart yeah. from music una biashara zingine labda zilikusaidia iki kipindi cha corona um, apparently yeah um, um, maybe wana pe- oops oh sorry oh you back <laughs> i'm back ya yeah, um mimi napenda sana kufanya ka, uh, biashara na wazazi wangu i'm working with them lakini pia bado sijaweza kusema kwamba nataka nifanye ya kwangu mwenyewe lakini on this year nilikuwa na mipango hiyo of course corona mm. <laughs> ika imekuwa cancel imeifanya ime mambo ya baadhi ya vitu vimekuwa cancel kulikuwa kuna deals nimepata imekuwa cancel performances abroad lakini still tunaomba so, Mungu kwamba mambo yaishe then tuendelee kama kawaida na mipango yetu ya 2020. Mm. Mimi mbie uh, kugundua ilikuwaaje mpaka kakupata yani? 
Well, I was at home. Nilikuwa nasoma mo. <laughs> Nilikuwa nasoma at home ni nyumbani 2013. Mm. Nilikuwa nasoma then Nilikuwa nasoma wapi? Uh, Mukobs, chuo cha ushirika Moshi. Okay. Uh-huh. First, yeah. Nilikuwa nasoma di, my first degree, then akanipigia he, he got my number from his friend and bent to to a mutual friend me na yeye. Then the friend got this idea of connection. But I didn't know about that. He just gave me a call out of nowhere and then I was like, okay, this is not you. <laughs> <laughs> then, you, know, you can't just uh, receive your call out of nowhere and then you're not and in the question and dreams of form sani ki namna yote. Nilikuwa nafanya tu muziki for fun. I was just like ile kwamba we unaimba vizuri then that's it. Nilikuwa na dreams of like chuo nikawe sitwi nani huko. Lakini <laughs> sikuwai kuwaza kama nitaje kuwa an artist and then he gave me a call anajitambulisha nikamwambia no it can't be and he was a can it can't be you kwa sababu uh why would money fake call me like why like, come on so he he, he akaniambia i don't know why i believed him after like a long conversation of denying kwamba it's not him and then he was proving it kwamba it's him then akaniambia kwamba It's me and i believe nafanya vizuri akanyuza kama na mtoto kama nimeolewa au kama ninasoma nikamwambia yes nasoma so na kwanza la mwana ife kama umeolewa yes he calls me at night so i thought i will fear maybe i'm married yeah yeah alikuwa na hofu kama i could be married or something kwa sababu nilikuwa niko nyumbani nilikuwa na nilikuwa ni usiku alinipiga kwenye saa 4 usiku so i was ah. worried mm. yeah but it was him i called my mom in the morning kambe mama uh mwana fame nipigia simu i wasn't even sure that it was him but i was like i mean nipigia simu so i have to go to dar it was my first time coming to dar by the way okay mama kakata mwambie baba yako nikamwambia nikimwambia baba atakata kwa sababu it was iko kipindi cha shule ndo tume ndo naingia first year ndo degree sasa ule moto wa kusoma ndo umeanza eh sasa mbao ameingia degree sasa ah mama akasema no mwambie baba kwa sisi ndo nikamuomba tukaelewana kwamba we find a way to do it without baba to do what oh wow <laughs> so, so me and mom tukashirikiana uh, akamwambia baba maua lazima aende hostel right like, kukaa nyumbani kwa sababu masomo yatampita lazima kae na wenzake so unajua Then baba akafikiria it, it was a very good idea. <laughs> <laughs> so during that week nikaenda kukaa hostel kweli. Nikakaa hostel. Then I came to Dar without my father knowing. So my father was a lecturer on the same chuo ambacho mimi nilikuwa nasoma. So he wanted every weekend nyo naenda kumwangalia. I mean nyo naenda nyumbani afu every afternoon nyo naenda naenda lae ofisini kwake kukaa naye. It was hard. Eh nikasafiri nikija da mama kanigea laki moja. Kumbe ikitokea sio mwana ife come back. Yeah, so my mom akanipa nauli ile kwamba niweke pembeni then ife kanitumia nauli nikaja Dar es Salaam. Then I I didn't meet him alisafiri kwenda kwenda Mwanza. So nikaka hotelini for like a week without even meeting one FA without even knowing about what am I what am I doing here but he called me like nakuja nakuja I was still believing God, but this is it but I was scared that for the first time nimekuja da sije chochote I was young I don't know anything about music but akan akarudi then we met akanipeka studio nikafanya the recording in two weeks time akanambia utakuwa star Uta kwa star in two weeks. I was like no no no. I was like yes. Then nilipo nyimbo inatoka sasa ndo it's everywhere. Wanafanya mtambulisha msanii. Ah nikala mpiga kaka umesikia? Inapigwa. Yeah, it was it was it was fun. It was exciting sababu nilikuwa sijawahi kujua anything kama nitakuja kujua kwenye radio. It was my first time. Nilikuwa niko very excited. Then alanambia tu enjoy enjoy. Sorry. Wimbo gani ulikuwa mlirekodi nayo wakati huo? So crazy. Ndio alifanya yeye na mimi. Yaani nilimshirikisha yeye for the first time. 
Yeah. But he had to make sure kwamba namaliza shule kwanza. Ndio nirudi kwenye msingi. That's why it took me time to like become on the mainstream ile vizuri. Wewe uligonga degree yako fresh kabisa. Yeah, vizuri kabisa. Asana. Kneli. Asana. Of course mwanaume uh, mwana FA ni kati ya your role models, right? Um about yeah. mwana FA, who else do you look up to? Yaani ukimona unasema yeah, I want to be like this person one day. Okay, um I want to be like Tiwa Savage. <laughs> ooh, 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 nice. <laughs> yes, I want to have uh I want to be like Beyoncé actually. I want to be more than what I am today. I want to have uh a store, maybe a place, a special place where I'll put my Grammys. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I want to win a Grammy one day, you know. I want to be on billboards. I want to be the first artist, uh, the first female artist to be out there. Or maybe not the first, but one of the artists to be out there, you know, in the world. I want to be like that. It's okay. beautiful, no? <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. All dreams are valid. Hakuna kila ndoto ina 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 kukamilifu wake. Mimi nikirudi kwa kwa mzee. Kwa hiyo mzee sasa baada ya ngoma kutoka mkamwambia sasa ndo ngoma yangu na nilirekodi na beef ilishaje. He was asking. Sababu everyone was was happy. Alikuwa wana exciting of seeing wana. Hey, umesikia mwana maua sama yuko na mwana ifei. Ongera wanamuita sama. Ongera sala. Then my dad is like asking questions like how did it happen then we lied i'm not very good with lies but i lied to him <laughs> <laughs> i lied i was like he came to kutana to the fire studios of kukumosh mm-hmm. uh, but uh, he wasn't buying that kwamba he's a very big artist like why would he come record with you but at the, at the end of the day he took it and ali akamin lakini at the end of the day kana anzidi kutoa nyimbo nazidi kuuliziwa interviews kwa nyingi nataka kuwa kwenye kuwepo kwenye performances nyingine nalipwa things got out of hand na mzee ulikuwa anamcheck na mzee ulikuwa anamcheck pia lakini sasa pia anauliza questions where did you get this anakuwa mkali then nikaanza ku nikaanza na msumbua sasa FA naambia please talk to him i can't do it without like him knowing kwamba there's actually something very serious going on ndo mm-hmm. he gave him a call waka waka have a very a conference meeting waka ongea then things got smooth akaelewa sasa kwamba natakuwa nisafiri someday sana nikana muaga na mama ushauri tunaongea then he was very strict like lazima umalize chuo mm-hmm. otherwise at some yeah mwana falsafa katumia falsafa yake kwa hiyo yeah. uki ukitizama vijana wengi ambao wanapitia kwenye kwenye njia ambayo unapitia manake wazazi bado hawana uhakika kama sanaa ni ni fani inayolipa kabisa. Yeah. Uh, Unalipi la kuambia hao vijana na haswa ukizingatia swala la kumaliza elimu. Mimi uh, nilishirikiana na mzazi wangu kumdanganya mzazi wangu mwingine ili nitimize ndoto zangu. It wasn't easy sababu babangu ni one of the people ambao ndo kama hao naongelea hawaamini kabisa kwenye vipaji kipindi hicho. Mm. And alikuwa na hisi kwamba kipaji ni something extra that I need to have and I need to like study mm. make sure that I finish school. It's good shule ni muhimu sana kwa sababu mimi sasa hivi ninajua kabisa nina elimu ni moja ya wasanii wachache ambao wamesoma. Mm. Lakini pia nina nina kipaji ambacho kimenipa maisha na hata wao sasa hivi ndio kinawafanya wanakuwa relaxed. They are even proud. My dad teaches in the class and asma, my daughter mnamjua mtoto wangu anaitwa Maua Sama. Ele ana brag. Ele so at the end of the day ni kitu ambacho <clears throat> wazazi wanatakuwa wae karibu sana na watoto wao wakivikuza vipaji vyao eh, kuanzia utotoni au maki mimi nilikuwa naimba sana utotoni lakini sina hizo videos. Unaelewa yani sina memories ambazo zilikuwa zinaonyesha kwamba nilikuwa naimba sana. Nilikuwa naimba kwenye birthdays na shinda vitu nilikuwa na perform kwenye birthday parties kwenye komunyo vipaimara lakini sina hizo huo hizo kumbukumbu sina lakini kwa wazazi angeweza kum, kumtunza mtoto wake akam kwenye vipaji kipaji chake kuanzia utotoni kinakuja kuwa kikubwa watoto wa kizungu wanazaliwa wanakuwa wanasomea vipaji wanasomea mziki tu mpaka anakuwa anakuwa msanii kwa hiyo 
I think wazazi tunatakuwa tu wawe karibu na watoto wao ili wakuze vipaji vyao. It's very important kwa sababu vipaji ni kitu kinze kamfanya akawa akawa mtu fulani muhimu zaidi kuliko hata elimu. Lakini elimu pia ni very important tu pia. Yaani vina vina go simultaneous. Kwa hiyo wasidharau mziki sio nguni. <laughs> yeah. Na um, moja kati ya wimbo ambao umefanya vizuri sana tena sana ni Io Kote ambayo yeah. ulifanya na Handstone. Um, yeah. ulipatiwa na matatizo fulani wimbo ulishikiliwa na vyombo vya dola nini? Tuambie mm. hii ilikukata kiasi gani? Je, Uli, ulikata tamaa ukasema I don't want to do music no more? Yes, before Io Kote nilikuwa nishakata tamaa ya mziki. Nilikuwa nataka kurudi nyumbani. Before Io Kote nilikuwa tayari nimesha give up lakini that song happened and then it, it gave me hope kwamba okay kumbe i can do this people were liking it kama mtu alikuwa na vibe and it, it was already going viral lakini nika kama <laughs> <laughs> then i hated the song i hated the song and i was like maybe nisinge kwa kabisa na record this is not it begin ngetakuwa ni mtu mwingine why did i even come across this problem and it was it was very difficult for me some of way kwa hiyo nilikuwa najitahidi kuwaza ni namna gani naweza nikarudi nisifanye tena mziki kwa sababu kule chini kuna tisha yani akufai so and it's, it's 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 very bad i wouldn't wish for someone to go there yeah kitu gani kinakusukuma ku kuendelea I love music. Music is is life to me. I I grew up doing any singing like I I was it was close to me kama like nothing else ever happened before. Lakini sasa naachaje mziki? Kwa sababu hata nikisema naacha mziki I end up missing it at the end of the day. So I kept on doing and sababu pili nilikuwa nimetoka the song was up there, nyimbo ilikuwa kubwa na performances, calls, bookings ilikuwa nyingi. Nikajikuta sisi tena kuwaza I wasn't even getting time to rest nikaanza kufanya kazi it was hectic pia nilikuwa nina uh, ile kama stress at the, at the same time working it was hard it was very hard lakini ndio kitu nilichotagua kina changamoto zinaweza kuwa kubwa sana lakini lazima tunazipita unajua mimi nasemaga Mwenyezi Mungu hawezi kupa changamoto kubwa kama huwezi kuzipambana nazo yeah Um, na pia uh, tumeona kwamba kuna chemistry nzuri kati ya um, wewe na Harmonize pia, pia alifanya nyimbo yako um, mm-hmm. tuelezee ukaribu wako na Harmonize na ana kuinspire vipi He's a good artist anafanya vizuri na huwa anajitahidi kwa kweli He's one of the artists ambao wana dream big na ile alipo, of course nilikuwa natamani kufanya naye kazi nishike kumapproach kwa jina kufanya naye kazi then aka akafanya remix ya wimbo wangu it was very exciting na nilifurahi sana yeah was it a surprise to you or ulijua kwamba he's going to it was a surprise that i didn't know kwamba he was recording and and it to me kwa tayari afu tayari walikuwa wamepanga kuitoa yeah ah katika wasanii ambao wanaishi maisha labda unasema unaweza kusema ni low profile ya kimya kimya sana wewe unaweza kutajwa pia ni 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 mmoja wao kwa nini wewe ni mtu maarufu ni celebrity lakini unachagua una kuishi kimya kimya I don't know maybe kwa sababu niko tofauti it's good to be different mm. it's good to be different I don't know I just like to be silent it doesn't mean kwamba matatizo hayanikuti au si unajua maybe because pia vitu hivyo kiki hasijanikumba au sijakutana nazo ndio kuna zile kiki za unakutwa nazo <laughs> I'm I'm still a like human being I can fall in love can get her broken you never know well at the end of the day i'm just being me nilikuwa nilikuwa nasoma kwenye website moja hivi wakao nasema maua sama wanadhani ni single yani maana yake hata hawajui kama una unaweza kuiweka wazi i'm not single i'm not <laughs> okay, shukran sana kwa ku- clarify. Kenery. <laughs> um yeah, um, tuambie labda nyimbo tatu ambazo za, ambazo zimetoka hivi karibuni ambazo unazikubali una na unazicheza mara kwa mara. Nyimbo za watu wengine ama za kwangu ama just general. Okay, 
I love my song, of course, Your Nation. And Napenda, Napenda, okay, I love so many songs. Do you care? See me? Do you mm -hmm. care? Yeah. It's very nice. <laughs> I listen to this most of the times. And of course, Napenda Darasa. You know, I like it. Nothing. It's very nice. Uh, there are so many songs, I don't even know why you gave me three. <laughs> <laughs> but apart from that, um, I know you ume umetoa nyimbo na jukes no umetoa nyimbo. Um yeah. to appear, idea ilianzia wapi pia inaitwa COVID. So um tell us more about the song. Okay, the idea was yeni ilikuwa studio. And to look at me in a year, then to cut me decide. Then he wanted a song. Yeah, yeah, Munya, you want a new idea. Taka new Bombay, Sabu Savi, Kuna Mamba, a quarantine, Otome Kandani, Kuna Corona. Then he wanted something and brought a queen in a in a compliment the couple that, that cannot be together at this time. When you are Kuna Ile moment, yeah, quarantine, then you you cannot meet the abroad couple. I mean, boyfriend of yours, I'm a girlfriend, and there's. There's a moment, yani you miss each other, but where I'm when the corner, well, maybe cases like those the corner, so he wanted to speak up, to speak up for them, like to, I don't know. So, to got plan, to got, so I was, Nikali may play the part of a girl, yeah, I can play the part of a man, I may be equal quarantine. So it was productive, of course, Nibo Kali, me Kubali, also me Kuraia, yeah, it's okay. Now, nah, nah, Wimbo Luimba and Mario. Corona. Yeah. Uh, ili idea ili kujia uh, baada ya sasa corona kutokea, tukona mina ye, tukwange, na mna gani tunzo tuka speak up for people that cannot understand the corona. Mm. Unelewa, eni yani unajua kuna, sisi tulipata uwezo wa kuelewa mapema, but maybe kuna watu ambao hawajelewa. So tuka tumejaribu kuna na kutafta na mna ambao tutatumia vipawa vietu, ili kuweza kuafikia pia. Yeah. Sadia kwamba mtu wako wa karibu mwana FA um, alipata corona. Um, before yeye kupata corona, how was your take about corona? Did you find it kwamba ilikuwa kitu serious au ulikuwa una kitu kutia poa? No, nilikuwa naona iko serious but because it was from afar, I, I was safe. At some point, then I felt safe. But I wasn't until it, it, it caught him. No, nikaona, okay, maybe this is serious. Like it needs to like, it was I I nearly quite a little serious, but not as much as as the the way it come by who was such as a bad idea, yeah. When I think part of here, like Lakini ni shuka, ni pani 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 uh, network ina 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 kuna matatizo kidogo nafikiri tu tu tufunge tu, tu. nashukuru sana maua sama kwa kuweza kuja kuzungumza nasi na kutuunga mkono uh, najua ni kipindi kigumu sana kwa watu wote duniani lakini shukran sana kwa muda wako uh, naona mm -hmm. ina, ina inaanza kukatika lakini yeah, nasikia asante sana kwa, kwa, kwa kuja kuunga mkono mm -hmm. katika kampeni hii kusaidia uh, watoto wadogo na kutakia kila laheri katika uh, shukuru kwa za muziki na shughuli zako nyingine za maisha asante sana uh, stay humble and uh, mimi siku utakapoenda ku, ku, kushinda zile tuzo za grammy uh, tafadhali unialike uniweke kwenye list tafadhali sitakuwa huko huko na gani asante sana asante asante sana kwa this moment thank you very much for having me thanks thank you. Uh -huh. Uh, sure.